welcome back to Tiki's Creations. My name is Takaso. If you guys have not subscribed to me already, please consider subscribing. Also, on my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, my username is down below if you haven't followed me already. And finally, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, the card is up on the top right. Okay, so this one's going to be kind of weird. It's going to be kind of fun. This is called Trainwreck, right? And how fitting the name, right? It just rained. But anyway. So this is called Trainwreck, and it's just supposed to be like this fun, whimsical, just painting. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, share it. Let's get on to the video. Okay, and we are back. And uh, sorry about the lighting, it is still raining. Yeah, it's still raining. Houston's really weird. Okay, so first things off, what you want to do is you want to cover the bottom part a little bit, maybe like a fourth of the fourth of the poster board, because uh, what we want to do is that we want to make basically we just don't want it to be colored because above is going to be like our whole entire scenery, and that isn't a straight line poster board. Oh my god, my lights! Are you kidding me? My lights go my lights go out when it rains. Oh, okay, anyway. So you put your black down, you put your white down, right? In a swirling pattern, as if that's the galaxy you're gonna make. And I take my sponge, and I just dab. Dab along the sides of the black. Right, and I was saying uh, for the lower piece is you don't want it to be a straight edge. You just want that to be torn a little bit. Right here, I'm just making the shape of the of the galaxy itself. And for some reason, this always happens to me. Whenever I want to start something up again or do something, I always have like an excuse to say no. Like it literally rained on my painting. Literally rained on my painting. Like I could have said no. I didn't. You know why? Because I love you guys. Actually, you know, to be honest though, like your support, you guys messaging me, it, it makes it worthwhile. It makes it worthwhile. But, um, yeah, thank you for your support. To all, uh, to the two people who support me on Patreon, thank you so much. It's cool, I got another one. That's, that's so awesome. Anyway, covering up the places, like the white spots with the black, then I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch of stars. Right, hold the can halfway down, just sprinkle the shape of the can. Here I'm gonna add a black hole, right, to give some contrast. And here I'm making the two arms of the whole galaxy. And there I've got a sponge and I dab it in white. And as the arm gets closer to the middle again, it gets smaller. Right, to show that there's some depth. To be honest, I really liked, um, I, it kind of worked in my benefit that it rained because after it dried, it left a bunch of, like, texture. So I made the painting look, like, really, really, like, really detailed, I would say. It was a good thing. It was a happy mistake, as they would say. Alright, so here I'm taking my palette knife, I'm just poking holes in this poster board, right? And this is the effect that it's gonna give. Here, watch closely. Right, just do that, put white over it. It leaves like these little, little tiny stars. Right, it's like a little detail, but you know it should be there. Like basically. Like little galaxies inside this giant galaxy. I reinforce the middle with some white. Here I'm adding more stars. Okay, here I'm adding the veins of, I call them veins. Basically, it's the veins of the galaxy. So the galaxy has a body, obviously. Think of these as the veins. It's like little tiny gases trapped, and it's just, once you put them, it just adds more texture, and it, it just makes it look more realistic. 
Alright, that's what I did with that was I just took my um, my brush and I made the paint wet again and I just brushed on top of it. And now I'm covering it again with uh, the sponge. That way it's there, but you can barely see it. Which I which I kinda want it to be. I don't want it to be like too overwhelming. Next I'm adding my comments. I'm trying to make them tiny to make them look like they're uh, deep into space. Right, and I make mistakes still. Like, I've been painting for two years, but I still make mistakes. It happens, right? It happens. But just roll with the mistakes, man. Trust me, like, the rain was not. Please, like, if I can paint, like, when it's raining, at least roll with the mistakes at least once or twice. Alright, so I want the comments to shoot down like this. Straight at diagonal. Right? And here I'm just adding little bits of little bits of white. My roommate just got home. And here I'm just adding the planet, so I'm adding um, a highlight side, which is the white, and then I'm adding a dark side, which is the black. Hi, Mallory. I'm recording. Alright, so here I add the rest of the planets. I add them all around. I try to make sure that the smallest ones are closer to the center. That's going to give the optical illusion that your galaxy is actually bigger than it actually is. Alright? And I'm sorry for the noise in advance because it's still raining again. Sorry. Right? And I don't just like to... Basically, what I like to do is I like to go from the opposite end. So if I put a small one on one end, I'll go put a, a little bit bigger one on the other side of the paint. Right? And here it's raining. You guys should keep in mind that I'm by myself when I paint, so I'm literally talking to myself. Oh, uh, what a tragedy. Oh, I'll just, I'll just fix this up a bit. All right. There we go. Nothing like a little paper towel can fix. Right? Nothing like a little paper towel can't fix. Alright, here I'm just fixing everything up. I just touch it. I just need some touch up, right? It's it's still good. The painting's still good, right? Because the top layer is actually kind of more water resistant. Water resistant, not waterproof, but it just needs it just needs some love. Right? So I tried painting in the rain and it didn't work out, hence the really messed up train. Put it this way so you guys can see it better. Yeah, I'm gonna cover the whole bottom with white because, right? I felt as if it just, it just, it would look less sloppy if it was just completely one color. Because you had overspray for the black and you know, things like that. So, try my best. Did white again? I did a textured line, right? It's ripped. It's ripped. It's not a straight line. And I spray some black over that because I, I as much as it is white, I kind of want a little bit of color even though it is black. Give me a quick wipe down with the towel, right, because it's dry. Reinforce the center with white. And here I'm adding, uh, I'm actually fixing up with black.
I know I always say to make the move the painting to your advantage, but I felt like if I moved it too much, I was gonna rip it. So that that's why I'm moving around it. Uh, I gotta practice what I, what I, what I preach. Here you know, I'm just adding a smaller planet, you know, like a random one, just off to the side. Alright, adding some texture. I'm using a paper towel that I used to wipe down my my painting. And yeah, that's the top part of it. I mean, you can make the top scene whatever you want it to be. Literally whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be like a forest, it can be a forest. Right, but basically what I'm trying to go for is that the smoke is making this scene. If you know what I mean, like the smoke is like, you know, encasing this scenery. Yeah, you guys are all looking like I'm crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Just, 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 just watch it. Just watch the video. Alright, so I move it a little bit. Trying to see how strong it is. Not that very strong. Touching it up a bit more. Alright, finally, uh, I'm getting my stencil up again. Alright, so my stencil broke too. Like, it was not a good painting day for me. It was a rainy day. Ah. Alright, place that down. The way I made my stencil was basically I looked at a picture. I grabbed a sharpie and I outlined it and then I cut it out. I'll show you how to do that. I know when I started off, like I didn't even know what a stencil was. Yeah, I, I was I was a new. But um, yeah, we're gonna fix that. So I'll be making a video over that. This week will be a bunch of like new content, right? Just something to give it a little bit of life, right? Because I know you guys have been watching these paintings. They're cool and all, but I, I wanna I wanna help you out as much as possible. Right, so what I'm what I'm trying to do is trying to I'm trying to just use my nails and make it look like there's like there's like coal coal or like some sort of like object on top. Right. All right. Here's one thing. You just add. I'm just adding the smoke. So you see how the smoke is encasing it. You see how it joins again with the with the with the arm of the galaxy. Uh, too many things going through my head. Alright, that's the painting though. That's how it's supposed to be. It's called Trainwreck. You can see this on my Instagram, Tikus underscore creations. You'll see it. It's there. There's a funny joke to it too. Uh, I mean, it's an inside joke between me and my brother, but... Yeah. Check it out there. Okay, here I realized that the sponge is actually taking off the white. And just the layer of white, so I just end up like dabbing black to fill in those white spaces, right? Just to make it work in my favor a little bit more. Right? Sometimes you you just gotta get creative with it. All right? No excuses. No excuses, people. All right? Just make it work. Just try to make it work. And if it doesn't work, that's all right. Look, I don't know how to paint wheels. I don't. I'll be honest with you. I'm a very bad bad painter when it comes to a brush. Right, but I do things to like kind of cheat. So I move the, I swipe all the wheels to make it look like it's moving fast. All right, some touch-ups, signing it. That's the painting. Okay, so that was the painting. Yeah, it rained, but sometimes it just needs a little bit of love. Uh, more videos will be coming out. All of them won't be strictly me teaching you how to paint, but I'm gonna try to just. I'm gonna try to do videos where I'm, I'm painting, right? But I don't necessarily teach you how to paint, I'm just picking a topic. Anyway, stay stay well guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Keep on message me, messaging me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, right? You guys are great, I love your support. Smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, I'll see you guys later, goodbye.